What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're bringing you another walk around review video of the new 2024 Grand Highlander and we're going to be talking about the exterior, interior and specs on this exact car but before we do because it is not a sponsored video and we truly need and appreciate your guys support here at Vagabond Builds please tap that like button and subscribe to our channel also if you do have something for us to film here's our email below email us and we can talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Meta Toyota here in Sacramento, California for providing us this Grand Highlander for this review. Keep watching and stay tuned because we are going to be dropping that MSRP sticker so you guys get an idea of what comes on this car and the price tag on top. Now guys, let's go ahead and talk 2024 Toyota Hi Grand Highlander. So let's kick this review off with talking what we get under this hood on the all new 2024 new Grand Highlander trim and it is a hybrid so it's a HEV a hybrid electric vehicle and you get it a 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine now this is paired together with the electronic CVT transmission giving you 243 horsepower with 175 pounds feet of torque 37 city MPG 34 highway and a 36 combined with a 17.2 gallon gas tank size if we come over to the side of the car, let's talk length, width, and height in inches. Starting with length, you get 201 inches, 78 inches in width, and 72 inches in height with an eight inch ground clearance and 3,500 pound towing capacity. Now that 3,500 pound towing capacity is exclusive to the 2.5 liter hybrid drivetrain. If you do not have the hybrid and you go to the 2.4 liter uh, engine that is turbocharged, you get up to 5,000 pounds of towing capacity. So just take that into consideration. You have different options on the drivetrains. But let's go ahead and talk Grand Highlander. Now, exterior paint color because it's such a beautiful paint color. And I know people are going to ask me about it in the comment section below. It is called the Coastal Cream Exterior Paint Color. LED lighting with an integrated Parker a parking marker lighting inside black gloss with the chrome just adding very nice to that classiness this is actually literally like the top biggest horse in the barn highlander it's just beautiful and it's new to the 2024 line okay the black gloss trim you got the matte black grill up top and then finishing off the lower front end with the matte black plastic you have the active vents, which allow the airflow going through, okay? No fog lights on this Grand Highlander, okay? Coming forward or moving forward over to the side, let's go ahead and talk some wheels. What are they running? They're running a 255, 65, 18 inch wheel, and they're running the Michelin Primacies all seasons in the regular uh, spring strut suspension, matte black plastic wheel well trim. Side mirror comes with the integrated blinker lighting, the same color as the car on top, and then the matte black plastic on the bottom. They do not, this exact uh, HEV Grand Highlander does not come with the camera in the front or on the sides, but the side mirror does come blind spot assist with a heated side mirror. All right, keyless fob entry. Wanted to show you guys how that door opens, the matte black plastic trim near the rocker panel area, and then simple on the rest of the door. Moving forward, oh, let me go ahead and open that gas tank and show you guys what the gas tank looks like. You still have a cap, so it's not a capless, okay? And then we come over to the rear in the LED rear lights with the uh, backup lights here, okay? Take a look at that very nice uh, tail light coming from that quarter panel. It's not attached to the quarter panel, it's actually kind of the bumper area, I would say, all right? And then it shoots over to the tailgate. Grand Highlander integrated into that trim piece. Black gloss right over that in the black Toyota emblem up top. Spoiler with your integrated brake light and then the black, I mean the back glass wiper, okay? HEV here on the left of, of the driver's side of the car. XLE trim, letting you know which trim this is, okay? Grand Highlander XLE. Now, for you guys wishing or hoping for the lower trims like the L or the LE, Grand Highlander doesn't come in the lower trims. This is literally the entry point for the Grand Highlander. That is the XLE. 
Finishing off that rear end with the matte black plastic bumper, the parking reflectors, and then you have the tucked away exhaust tips, okay? Giving it a cleaner and simplified look, giving it more of a richer feel outside of the rear end of this car. Let's go ahead and pop this tailgate open and let's talk cargo area. Electric tailgate, opening up to the cargo area. Now let's go ahead and talk cargo space. Now, if we have all the rows or the second and third row up, you get a minimum of 21 cubic feet of space. But if you drop the third row and the second row down, you get a whopping 98 cubic feet of space on this Grand Highlander. Literally, that's almost as much as the Toyota Sienna, and we know minivans are known for their space, okay? So you got some hooks here on the right and on the left, tie downs. Let's go ahead and show you guys what's under this mat. The mat itself, you have some personal space, you have your trunk cover right there, and then the spare tires under all of this, okay? Let's go ahead and show you guys what it looks like with these seats up. You got that lever there and pop this open as well, okay? And that's what it looks like with the third rows up and your 21 cubic feet of space. Let's go ahead and shut this tailgate, electric close. Now that we're done talking specs, exterior, and some cargo area, let's go ahead and talk interior. So now inside the Grand Highlander and get a load of this look, everybody. Now we don't have the key in this exact video because we just couldn't get a hold of it, but we still wanted to show you guys a walk around of the interior and what it looks like with that 12.3 inch infotainment screen. I wish I could turn that on because that is a beautiful big screen with your dual climate controls right here and your knobs, beautiful and your vents right under that, USB-C plugins, two of them so nobody's fighting, wireless charging pad down here, and this is where your power button is to turn on the car. Shift lever, all right, which is kind of a leather wrap on top, cup holders, very nice and beautiful, and then your EV mode with your different uh, uh, modes for driving eco normal sport electric uh, brake electric sorry parking brakes brake hold and traction control if we slide this cover back you get a huge huge space for your cubby room with a 12 volt outlet right there in the front of that cubby room close that up now this steering wheel is leather wrap steering with a tri spoke steering now you have the cruise control here on the right with your crash warning buttons, your lane assist button. On the left, you would have your controls for that seven inch drive cockpit cluster display that is digital. And then on the right and left, you have your temperature gauge. And then on the uh, right, you have your gas mileage. I mean, sorry, your gas tank gauge, okay? And then behind that leather wrap steering, you have the controls for your windshield wipers on the right. And then left is your lighting system. On the left-hand side of this manual steering column, you have your automatic lighting button and your tailgate lift button with your gas button all the way down here right next to your hood, okay? Door panel. Door panel does come la uh, leather-wrapped armrest, controls for your windows, and then controls for your electric side mirrors. This is the way you're gonna open the door, your lever, and then that kind of uh, matte gray or dark gunmetal gray look. Cup holder and some cubby room. Both front seats do come electric controlled with leather wrapped uh, seating, perforated as well. Let's go ahead and show you guys the electric controlled. Okay, no door sill plates in front of the passenger seat. We have a lockable glove compartment, okay, as well. Both front seats do come heated front seating system, okay? And what's very cool is not that you just get two USB-C plugins here, but right in front of the passenger seat, you get a USB-C plug-in there. So you literally have three USB-C plugins just in the front row alone, okay? Guys, now that we're pretty much done with the front side of this interior, let's go ahead and shoot over to second and third row. Now, second row bench seating inside the 2024 Grand Highlander car seat compatibility on the second row. Armrest, simple, big cup holders for the armrests, okay? You can literally get up to 13 cup holders inside this car. That's a lot of room for cups, okay? Now, this side of the passenger side is a 60 percenter, and the driver's side is a 40 percenter, and you will be controlling these seats from the left and right-hand side of this bench seat, and you have three levers to control. One lever, you'd pull up to drop that forward, okay? And then you have one lever to move it forward and back, 
And then another lever to kind of drop this. Hold on. Well, sorry, you gotta pull this one first and then drop this to drop it down. So literally, touch the first lever, they literally have numbers saying step one and step two on it. Sorry about that. Okay, that is pretty much done. Let's go ahead and jump inside the car. I'm about six feet, two inches, completely clear on the head clearance and the leg clearance. In front of me, I have pockets on the back of those front seats. In between those front seats, we have the tri-zone climate controls, USB-C plugins on the right and left, and then another 12 volt outlet, okay? On the door panels, you have sun visors, all right? Some more space down here on the bottom. You get a six speaker sound system inside this car. Get vents with your lighting in that kind of true light lighting, very nice, with your O-snap handles. Let's go ahead and jump over to the third row seating. One, bunny hop that forward. And let's go ahead and show you guys that. Bunny hopping this forward, all right. And we are now in the third row seating and dropping it kind of, let's go ahead and bring this back just a bit more. All right, just like that. So if you kind of have it set in a normal position, you will have some space, again, six feet, two inches. My head or my hair is slightly touching that top liner Take that in consideration. So you're putting your kiddos back here, the shorter people back here. On the right and the left, more cup holders, literally. You get like, honestly, they say bottles and cup holders for the center, USB-C plugins, one and two. And then your vents, if you got animals or people back here with that true light lighting. Just very nice that they equip the third row seating back here. And then you still have that perforated leather wrap look with car seat compatibility back here as well, everybody, okay? Now that we're pretty much done talking about the Grand Highlander, here's the MSRP sticker as promised, so you guys get an idea of what comes on top and the price tag for this car. Guys, we truly appreciate you guys watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds. Keep watching, stay tuned, we have more cool things coming. Thank you guys and God bless you.